back again to wage a public war of words against Tim Walls. He, he abandoned us, you know, I mean, what the hell kind of leader does that? I mean, he just, as soon as the shots were fired in Iraq, he turned and ran the other way and hung his hat up and quit. We'll get to Barron's new message for voters in a moment. But this all starts years earlier, when Barron says Wall's misleading statements about his military service first led him to come forward in the fall of 2018. So you try to get this message out, but Minnesota's largest newspaper checks it out, says it's 100% true, but yet refuses to print. When I hung the phone up, I said, what the hell is this, North Korea? Back in 2005, a warning order went out to the 1st Battalion 125th Field Artillery to mobilize for a mission to Iraq. At the time, Walls served as the unit's highest non-commissioned officer. But months later, Walls would retire from the Guard, avoid the deployment, and run for Congress. Tom Behrens was next in line for the position and was asked to take his place. I was like, well, for Pete's sake, if this guy quit, and if I say I'm not going to do it, I mean, what the hell kind of leadership is that? If a company would say that we're going to deploy to Iraq or somewhere and you're going to be gone for whatever amount of time and then the foreman just says, no, I'm not going. I mean, what does that say to the 500 people that work in that factory? Barron's would go on to serve in Iraq on a nearly two-year deployment as a command sergeant major. Allwell Walls began using that title as a congressman. Barron says he first contacted Walls with his concerns, sending these letters to Washington. They all went unanswered. But then we fast forward to the election in 2018 in Minnesota, and you try at that time to get people's attention with this story and also with what seems to be a very misleading statement that he continued to make about his service. It kind of just sat there, you know, when he was a congressman, he, you know, he bragged that he was, he was a command sergeant, retired command sergeant major. I'm the highest ranking person ever in the, in the House and, you know, all this lie that he was telling. The state of Minnesota came out after 2018, after this was exposed, and they said, well, he can say that he served as a command sergeant major, but he can't say he's a retired one because he's not. And that's what he was saying. And he was saying that, and there was lots of public, you know, lots of cards coming in the mail, you know, for him to be elected. They said right on there, he's a retired command sergeant major, just tooting his own horn, just hanging on the coattails of people that actually are command sergeant majors that went through all the process and put all the time in. A spokesperson for the Minnesota National Guard said Walls wasn't able to retire as a command sergeant major since he failed to complete coursework and requirements related to the rank. Verified documents show the Army corrected his service record. Walls was reduced in rank to an E-8 master sergeant after retirement and his conditional promotion. Alpha News again asked Governor Walls if he's using the command sergeant major rank on his campaign website for political gain this year. A spokesperson said this has been in the news before and pointed us to a past story where Walls said, quote, normally this type of partisan political attack only comes from one who's never worn a uniform. It's stolen valor is really what it is. I don't know of anybody else that's done what he's done, but we called it the truth about Tim Walls. In 2018, Barron's gave the story the full court press. We retired command sergeant majors of the Minnesota National Guard feel it is our duty and responsibility to bring forth the truth as we know it concerning his service record. I put together information on it and I sent it out to every single radio station and newspaper and TV station I could in the state. The bottom line in all of this is gut-wrenching and sad to explain. When the nation called, he quit. Twin Cities TV stations and the Star Tribune were silent, even after Barron says the newspaper checked it all out. The Star Tribune endorsed Walls in 2018 for governor. Between lockdowns, riots, unchecked crime, and a charred police precinct, Barron's felt he had no choice but again to come forward. Allowing that to be burned down was just like having the Alamo get burned down. It's like, no, you sit, you defend that to the last man. You know, if he would have went to Iraq, he'd still be hiding under his desk over there because that's just, you know, just the cowardice that I see and portrayed with him. So how about when he also comes out and he calls you guys 19-year-old cooks? <laughs> I'd take uh, any 19-year-old cook before I'd go to war with him. I don't know how he could even utter such a statement. I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely sad. So this election year, it's all built up again to Barron's new grain bin message. He called Jacob Fry an abject failure. So I was like, you know, that's what he is. Walls is a traitor, also made a return. And the last one I put together, he said it himself too, as well, if they don't like my job, they can vote me out. 
So I wrote, we got to vote him out. We need to vote him out.